feedback from the swimmers is, oh, I'm so glad we're back in the water. We're so glad we can see each other. Back in the pool with protocols in place. The coaches and um, the board put in so much effort into making sure that it's safe. So I feel comfortable coming here every day. People at Row, since I've been there so long, it's kind of like a second family and I love being around them. It's a family atmosphere practicing social distancing with one directional swimming. We are allowed two swimmers per lane, one at each end and it's done over a double lane. So in the pool you'll have markings of a black line and we have to go one direction on the black line. It's just a habit now and it's uh, in the lanes like we have to be distanced and stuff like we can't go close to each other and it's not really a big deal. Adapting to the new regulations is going well. Everything that we do has been thought through very carefully and uh, put into play to really keep everybody safe. Other rules include distancing on the deck, the chairs six feet apart, each swimmer assigned a lane for the entire practice, no shared equipment, coaches and lifeguards wearing masks, hand sanitizer readily available. I think that they did a really good job on being safe. We take care of each other through everything. The change rooms are not in use. The diving board is closed. Yes, things are different. However, it's a well thought out plan, allowing a return to the pool. We always teach our athletes to overcome adversity. And this is just another adversity that we've been dealt with to overcome, plan around and move forward. Kathy Party is in her third year as the row head coach. She says the feedback to the precautions has been very positive. One of the emails that came in, which was really nice to read, mentioned that not only were we following the city's protocols, Roe had also set up stricter procedures that we are also following to make sure that everybody remains safe.